As you might have heard, governors across the country are scrambling to address the teacher shortage that is now occurring at a national level. And even Fox News seems a little bit worried about this, reporting about how some districts are moving towards a four-day week in order to accommodate less teachers. And in some states like Florida, for example, expectedly, Governor Ron DeSantis concocted the dumbest solution imaginable by letting veterans without degrees teach. Teachers have years of education, certification behind them. So to just open the door to anyone, it does indeed lower the standards, as the article I pointed to argues. But this is an issue, and they're right to be concerned about this issue. As the Washington Post reports, rural school districts in Texas are switching to four-day weeks this fall due to lack of staff. Florida is asking veterans with no teaching background to enter classrooms. Arizona is allowing college students to step in and instruct children. The teacher shortage in America has hit crisis levels, and school officials everywhere are scrambling to ensure that as students return to classrooms, someone will be there to educate them. Quote, I have never seen it this bad. Dan Dominic, executive director of the School Superintendents Association, said of the teacher shortage. It is hard to know exactly how many U.S. classrooms are short of teachers for the 2022 to 2023 school year. No national database precisely tracks the issue, but state and district level reports have emerged across the country detailing staffing gaps that stretch from the hundreds to the thousands and remain wide open as summer winds rapidly to a close. So this is undeniably a problem. The question, however, is why is there this teacher shortage? I mean, I think that those of you who are familiar with my show who've been watching for a while know why this is occurring. But what's really interesting to me is to see Fox News hosts have this surprised Pikachu face in response to the teacher shortage, considering they've been saying this over the course of the last couple of years about teachers. This is a compilation courtesy of Kat Abu. We're overplaying the importance of education. So, doctor, this is grooming, right? Brainwashing toddlers with racist drivel. Cameras in the classroom as we put them on the chests of police officers. But I don't think these teachers are even smart enough to be in the classroom. Teachers hate teaching and they hate their students. They legit hate your kids. They're lazy. They're incompetent. Sluggish cat ladies in sweats stained with chocolate eclairs. The KKK with summers off. Teachers make 20 percent less than people with similar degrees. But they also work 20% less. Exactly. They have school, they have the summers off. They would like less work, no accountability, and much more pay. They're teaching our children to sext. They took God out of our school, Sandra. To view pornography. And then they, the left replaced it with CRT, which is this neo-Narxist Marxist religion. What they are doing is grooming our children for sexual predators. This is a new world order. Everything they do is anti-kid, anti-parent. Why don't you go in there and thrash the teacher? And you're going to get hurt. And I think that should be the rule still. You get beaten up, you should be beaten up. Please. Hmm, I just can't quite figure out why teachers don't want to teach anymore. I mean, can you blame them? Put yourself in the shoes of a teacher. Look at what they have to deal with. Over the course of the last couple of years, the GOP has been hysterical over CRT, then grooming when it comes to pronouns in classrooms or LGBTQ affirming teachers who are offering themselves as a safe person to come out to, to gay students. All of a sudden, teachers are being heckled by parents. School boards are getting berated by psychopathic parents who are brainwashed by Fox News. And of course, the result is pretty predictable. Nobody wants to be in that environment that's extremely toxic. I mean, we've talked about how queer teachers have resigned because of this, because of their treatment specifically in states like Florida. So for Fox News to demonize teachers in that way and then turn around and feign concern over the teacher shortage, I mean, this is your fault. It's your fault. Own it. Now, you know, the goal, the long-term goal of the right has always been to dismantle public education and really what they want is for you to either pull your child out and homeschool them, that's less children going to public schools, or most importantly, enroll your children in private schools. Now, a lot of Americans can't afford that because tuition for private schools is extremely expensive. But all of these rich Fox News hosts, every single one of their crotch goblins, I guarantee it, goes to private schools. So they don't care that what they're doing is worsening public schools. That's the goal, in fact, because, you know, the more terrible that public schools gets, the more that they are, you know, underfunded, that's better for their uh, advertisers or if you're a Republican politician, do donors who have these 
private schools. Now, it's not just right-wing attacks on teachers. They're dealing with a plethora of issues. As the Washington Post explains, why are America's schools so short-staffed? Experts point to a confluence of factors, including pandemic-induced teacher exhaustion, low pay, and some educators sense that politicians and parents, and sometimes their own school board members, have little respect for their profession amid an escalating educational culture war that has seen many districts and states pass policies and laws restricting what teachers can say about U.S. history, race, racism, gender, and sexual orientation, as well as LGBTQ issues. Quote, the political situation in the United States combined with legitimate after effects of COVID has created this shortage, said Randy Weingarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers. This shortage is contrived. Now, there's one school district in North Texas we learned about this week that banned effectively the word transgender, banned the use of pronouns so teachers can no longer introduce themselves to students with pronouns. So if you are a non-binary teacher, then you're not supposed to tell the students what your preferred pronouns are. Students can't share their preferred pronouns. And then the school board was dealing with lunatics like this. Twins. Yeah! Thank you, Shannon, Casey, Timmy, Kathy. Keep winning, baby! Do it! Embrace simple truths. There's only two genders. And boys should go to boys' rooms. Girls should go to girls' restrooms. And guess what? Teachers shouldn't be forced to use your freaking made-up fantasy pronouns. Fight like hell. Hold the line against the LGBT mafia and their dang pedo fans. Keep winning. You know what? Keep the winning. They can keep the monkey pox. How's that working? In fact, keep winning so much, we'll keep coming. You know what? We're going to keep coming so hard, the only thing these woke cards got to figure out is whether it's on their face, back, butt, or thighs. Woo! Get some! Thank you! Yeah. Who wants to deal with that? Who wants to deal with these types of parents? I know I certainly wouldn't. And look, to me, my goal was always to be a teacher. I never wanted to teach elementary school, but I wanted to be a teacher at the collegiate level. I wanted to be, I know this sounds dumb, but I wanted to teach at community colleges, even though the pay is worse than at universities. It's hard to get tenure in universities, but I mean, even though the pay is worse than at universities, like to me, I felt like, a really crucial part of my development as a, an adult came when I attended community college because of the wonderful professors that taught there. You know, they really helped me. So I, I thought that maybe I can help disadvantage people as well. And that was always my goal. But nowadays, like how the environment in the classroom is so toxic, thanks to right wingers, probably less so at the college level. But still, I mean, I don't know that I would want to put up with that. If I tell students to wear a mask and they freak the fuck out, I don't want to deal with that shit. Who would want to deal with these fucking Karens? I wouldn't. So, you know, if you're going to complain about this issue, Fox News, Republicans, perhaps don't contribute to it and actually respect the people who are educating our children. They may not be educating your children since your children go to private schools, since you're all rich. But, I mean, maybe stop adding to this issue and just acknowledge that teachers are human beings. Not all of them are great, right? But most of them, the overwhelming majority, I'd argue, are doing their best to help their students. Most of them are good, and they're just not treated with the respect that they deserve. And as a result, we're losing a lot of really good teachers, thanks to Republicans making the classroom a culture war. And that's really unfortunate, but Republicans are going to do whatever they can to advance their disgusting, nefarious, fascistic political agenda. And teachers just happen to be ground zero, at least right now.